Alright lads, uh, welcome to my Marksman Hunter PvE Raiding DPS Guide updated for 6.2. There will be a number of sections to this guide which can be accessed using the navigation bar above. We will be covering gearing, talents, glyphs and damage though if you subscribe to my channel you'll see many more videos covering more precise topics. Before I begin I'd like you to understand that these guys are intended to be quick and basic but still give the necessary skills and information to compete in the most difficult content. They can be seen as a great alternative to the official Blizzard guides. Let's jump into the guide. First of all, we'll begin with the essentials in order to ensure that your hunter is tuned up properly to maximise his pressure in a PvE environment. For gearing, the main stats you want to focus are critical strike and mortar strike, since these will increase your DPS the most. Crit is the most important due to the effects of careful aim, since this increases your crit chance on aim shots etc while your target is above 80% health and during rapid fire. And when you crit um, with aim shot then you're, you basically generate 20 extra focus, this means you must try and hit the crit soft cap which is about 53%. So basically try and get 53% crit and once you've got that then you can start to focus on the other stats. This means that um, also that you should be gemming and enchanting full crit to achieve the cap, but if you've got a cap then you obviously just enchant multi strike instead. Um, after multi strike, really it's it's just up to you because all you really want to focus on is multi strike and crit, because they're the only stats that are really going to give you any advantage, but I guess mastery and um, haste. You know, what, what I generally do is I, I stack the third stat, I, I focus on one of them. It doesn't really matter which one, just at least just focus on one of them. Now let's run into talents. In the first tier, Crouching Tiger Hidden Chimera, which is a great reference to a great film, will be the most useful most of the time to negate damage, however you may want to choose Post Haste for the extra maneuverability, um, or Narrow Escape for when ads need to be kited or pinned down. In the second tier, I feel that Binding Shot is going to be the most beneficial, however you may want to go for Wiring when you need the extra duration for your CC. Iron Hawk is going to be the most useful option here since uh, this provides the most significant damage reduction over long periods of time. However, Exhilaration can be used to counter big damage situations. For tier 4, go for the Thrill of a Hunt since this is the best DPS increase due to, um, due to the fact it reduces the focus cost of your aim shots. For tier 5, Stampede will mostly be the biggest DPS increase, however if you find yourself in a situation where there are numerous adds in a fight or trash, where you can kill a target to reset the cooldown of crows, then crows will become a bigger DPS increase. For tier 5, uh, sorry, for tier 6, Barrage is the best DPS increase and let's just leave it there. In the 7th tier, Lone Wolf is the biggest single target and multiple target DPS increase, however if you find yourself in a boss fight with numerous targets available to DPS for long periods of time then exotic munitions with incendiary ammo will definitely take over. For your pet, um, you should be using the ferocious adaptation skill tree since this provides the most DPS, however you, f you may find yourself in uh, you might find use for the other specs in certain situations, um, so never neglect to consider the task before you and choose the best talents to overcome it. Now let's run for the glyphs. I'd firstly recommend the glyph for disengage for the extra maneuverability, however be careful with this glyph because you don't want to be travelling too far and you know falling off the map. Glyph for deterrence is useful for the extra damage reduction and can save you in a number of those cock up situations where you get hit by a one shot ability. Glyph of Liberation is also nice for the healing that it provides. For Minor, um, Glyph of the Aspect of a Cheetah is useful for situations where the Aspect um, becomes beneficial to you in a boss fight um, without the spe speed penalty. The rest of the Minor Glyphs are more of a convenience or a bit of fun, so I'm not going to tell you how, you how you want to play your Hunter when it comes to having fun. Here is the Spell Priority List to maximise your damage as a Marksman Hunter. So, cast Chimera Shot whenever available, cast Kill Shot whenever available, cast Aim Shot when your target is above 80% health or when rapid fire is active, use Stampede whenever available, use Glaive Toss whenever available or Barrage if you have the tier 18 bonus, cast Aim Shot when capping on focus, use Steady Shot as a filler to generate focus but try not to be capped on focus for too long. You always want to be dumping out your focus, because that's obviously what's going to give you the damage. Remember when the boss is above 80% health, or if you have rapid fire active, focus your rotation on using more aim shots. 
Another important thing to note is um, your mastery passive. Basically, um, you will do more damage while stood still due to this sniper training buff which gives you 5% more damage, crit, rate, crit rating and shot range. Though if you move, the bus will have buff will have a um, 5 second duration, so try to stay, stay still for as long as safely possible. That's it for me lads, if you're new to my channel I do a lot of different videos like class guides, gold leveling guides, combat in machinima, world of warcraft lore, lore for other games, pvp in one montages and a lot of other stuff, so be a lad and give me a sub. Anyway, my name is the Metagoblin and to my next video, ciao!